check this out guys. We are back with a brand new episode on the channel. I've got a little bit of a sore throat, so I do apologize if my voice is a little bit squeaky. But today's episode is a must watch guys. I'm not even joking. This is gonna help so many of you my subscribers out. It is insane. Now if you take a look at the top left hand side, it's no clickbait guys. We just found 1,325,000 thousand gold i know it is insane that is one of the biggest loot raids i found this entire year and we got 1.226 million elixir only 3600 dark elixir though guys but over the last hour i have found a secret farming strategy and i'm going to share it with you in this episode and i'm not kidding it is going to help so many people it is insane guys so just before i show you i did want to show you this raid because I think this is honestly the biggest loot raid I've had this entire year. Let me know what your biggest loot raid is this year, 2019, guys. Check it out, the Royal Ghosts going down the bottom to make the funnel and take out those defending heroes, guys. Gonna drop a couple up the top as well, but we are about to absolutely destroy this dude's base, guys, with the Royal Ghosts and the Rage Spells. You're about to see in a second. Let's just go double speed. Queen is going to come in, she's going to take out loads of the collectors, the drills, and the storages, guys. And as that is going on, the king comes in at the bottom, and a little, little rush of royal ghosts with rage spells smash their way through the center of this base, and we absolutely destroy it, guys. I think we got every single bit of the loot, let me just um, wait and see. We, we absolutely destroyed this base, I'm not going to lie. So just as this raid is going on, do not forget if you are new to the channel, guys, Town Hall 13 is going to be coming out this Christmas. So make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. We are one of the only COC YouTube channels who post two videos a day every single day, guys. So if you want to see some cool content, sub to the channel and stay tuned. But there it is. Let's go quad speed as this raid finishes. And then I'll show you the secret strategy you should be using this Halloween, guys. Final gold collector goes down, and it's game over. Total loot we stole, 2,500,000 plus gold and elixir. Do me a favor, guys. Leave a like on the video if you would love to raid that base. It was so weak as well. We absolutely destroyed it. But now, I want to show you this secret strategy. So check this out. Over the next 13 days, 17 hours, Supercell has given us a new troop, the Royal Ghost Guys. But there is a, there is basically a life hack or a, a farming hack in the game right now. And that is the following. Check this out. If you're a noob like me and you've rushed to Town Hall level 12 or even Town Hall level 11, Supercell will give you a max level royal ghost even if the rest of your troops aren't maxed out if you're town hall 11 it will be level 6 town hall 10 it will be level 5 so on and so forth now i'm town hall 12 i only have one maxed out troop guys all the rest are really newbie levels but the royal ghost is level 7 so supercell has basically given me a free max level troop now not only that guys if we go down to this army at the bottom it only costs 200,000 elixir. Most of the armies we use cost 300,000. It costs zero dark elixir. That is incredible. And it trains in 19 minutes, guys. That is absolutely insane because the average army takes about 40 minutes to train. So this army, it gives you a max level troop for free. It costs zero dark elixir and it trains in 19 minutes. This, my friends, is a farming strategy that no one, I don't think, is using right now. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get myself into a live attack. We're going to show you the strategy. Then we're going to come back, guys, because we've got a lot of builders free. I've actually just used the builder potion. And there are some special offers in the store that I want to buy. So let's not waste any time. Let's find ourselves a battle, guys. I'm looking for another massive juicy loot raid fingers crossed we're gonna be able to find it stay tuned and we'll be back at the click of a finger yo so here we go guys here we go in total 1,200,000 loot on the map this dude is way better than me but we're still 
gonna get in here and we're still gonna do some damage to this dude's base guys and i'm gonna show you how we are destroying people using this strategy so i only have two max level troops the healer and the royal ghosts and those are the only two troops we're using apart from a couple of wall breakers so check this out we use the royal ghosts to funnel they're really strong guys and whilst they're invisible they absolutely destroy buildings including defenses we're gonna take down this elixir storage nice and early that's already grabbed me a hundred thousand elixir guys and as that's going on i'm gonna use some more royal ghosts on the other side to funnel but you do need to make sure you don't wake up the eagle artillery now remember it doesn't matter how strong the defender's base is guys the royal ghosts are invisible and they can basically take out so many buildings before you even get seen so we're already up to 25 percent I'm going to let the queen take out a couple more buildings, guys. But now, I'm going to start to focus on these gold storages over here. And that dark elixir drill. Let's grab that drill first. Let's check on the eagle. Its eyes have opened, guys, so you've got to be careful. Don't want to wake it up, especially if you've got low-level heroes like me. You need to protect your heroes. The royal ghost has got us up to 32% on the other side. And we are going to go with our first rage spell on our queen. Oh, damn, we lost the queen. See? We messed up, guys. Now we've got a little bit of a problem, but I think I can save this. Can I grab this air defense? It's, it's going to be a tricky one. Let's see. Let's go with another royal ghost. Yep, we're going for the air defense, guys. Here we go. There he goes. And we've got the other royal ghost taking out the double cannon. Is it going to survive? Yes, it does. That is absolutely hilarious. We, we've, got a, uh, we've got an immortal royal ghost right now, guys, but... We're going to forget about that. I'm going to drop the king in. I'm going to use the king to distract. Use the wall breakers and the rest of the royal ghosts. Going to come in over here, guys, with a grand warden. Double rage. Let's freeze the queen. And we're going to go in with a double heal spell. Try and keep our royal ghosts alive. And let's see how much damage we can do to this base, guys. Check that out. Demolishing defenses, but it is the end of the road. 57% guys, not too bad, and we stole almost 700,000 loot, 2,000 Dark Elixir, that is what I'm talking about. This, my friends, is honestly the best attack strategy you can use, especially if you are a little bit rushed. So, let's go back down and quick train up another one, guys. It is almost impossible to fail using this strategy what we're going to do now i am going to do some upgrades in the base because i want to get some upgrades going now i don't i do want to upgrade the heroes but i'm actually really enjoying farming right now because this strategy is so awesome so we're going to go for the upgrade oh we're so close to upgrading to the giga tesla all we need is four hundred thousand gold guys that is awesome okay let's um Let's maybe upgrade all five wizard towers. I don't know. How long do these take? 19 hours, guys. Uh, let's see. I don't know what to upgrade. Okay, I've got a good plan. I'm going to go for an upgrade on... Wait, what do I do? Let's go for an upgrade in the lab first. Apart from the royal ghosts and the healers, I do use giants a lot, so I think I'm going to go with a giant upgrade, guys. That's going to get us to 3 million elixir. Okay. Now, we're going to go for some gold upgrades. So, let's start. You know what? Let's start with the wizard tower. Let's upgrade that one, guys. 19 hours. 19 hours. 19 hours. And 19 hours. This one is already level 4. So, we got 4 wizard towers upgrading to the next level. That's going to leave us with... How many builders have we got? One builder over here. If we gem the gold mine. There it is, guys. That is our first level 8 mine. Most of these collectors are level 7. All the golds are level 7. The elixirs are all level 5, guys. So we do need to upgrade the pumps, but we're not going to do that just yet. We've only got one builder left. And I don't really want to lose my loot. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to upgrade loads of these walls using the gold. And we'll keep this builder free, guys. Let's do that. That makes sense. Here we go. We've got 5 million in wall upgrades to go. 
And then we're going to keep the elixir. We're not going to waste that, guys. I'm going to keep that. And I think we're also going to buy some of those special offers in the store. But maybe we'll save that for the next episode, guys. Getting some of these walls done. There's actually quite a lot. Let's remove that one. Select that entire row. Damn, we can't afford it, guys. Okay, I thought we could afford to upgrade that whole row, but we can't. We're too poor. Let's just keep these going, and then we'll check in a second how many we have upgraded to level 8 and how many we've got left to do. Here we go. We can do six more. One, two. This is actually so many upgrades. It is ridiculous, guys. Two more. And the final one. And there it is. A whole row of skull walls is almost completed. 60. That is awesome, guys. We're going to end this video here. Make sure you let me know your Royal Ghost farming strategy down below, guys. And I'll take a look to see if anyone has got a better strategy than the one I'm using.